Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Back to the Future helped us imagine how we'd get around one day. We've been dreaming of this future for centuries. Apparently really dreaming sometimes. I mean, are those dragon wings? Anyway, Doc Brown's timeline didn't exactly pan out. But today's transit prototypes are reshaping tomorrow's world. Let me just figure out how to switch it so you are taking up the majority of my screen. There we go. Transportation right now is going through an absolutely fundamental transformation. Just similar to, in magnitude to what we saw with the locomotive back in the 19th century and then the invention of the car in the 20th century. Everything now is changing. We can fantasize about jetpacks, hyperloops, and suborbital space travel. All these ideas are in development, but autonomous vehicles might have a greater impact. By 2040, they could account for as much as two-thirds of distance travel just in China. Vehicles are becoming mobile computing platforms, and people should be excited because what we end up with is a better world, something that's safer, something that's more convenient. We're still a few decades away from that world, but we do have the tools to get us there, all thanks to... The ACES. Um, what now? ACES refers to the four mega trends that are transforming transportation. Autonomous, connected, electric, and shared vehicles. First up, autonomy. Google, Tesla, Uber, they've all got driverless cars. Most experts agree on six levels of automation. Confusingly with five being the highest because the scale starts at zero. Where would you like to go? Many autonomous vehicles today are at a level two or three, taking on basic tasks like parking and switching lanes but that's quickly changing. People think this is something that's decades away. It's not. Waymo One, which is owned by Google, is a level four vehicle put into production. This isn't a beta test, this is live today. To reach true autonomy, we need help from our second letter. For these cars to navigate safely, they need to communicate not just with each other, but with pretty much everything. Many cars are already connected today. Say a command or say help. To us. But for autonomous vehicles to start talking to the wider world, artificial intelligence needs to advance and 5G has to take hold. Our autonomous connected cars will likely also become electric. There's still some issues about how far electric vehicles can go, but those issues will be addressed as more charge stations show up and as more people get used to the technology. Our last letter is perhaps most dependent on the first three. Shared mobility doesn't just mean ride-sharing services. S also refers to things like scooters and electric bikes, different modes of transportation that people find convenient. So the idea here is that instead of owning a vehicle yourself and having to deal with the cost of that vehicle, you can share the cost. For that to happen, cars need to become smarter, cheaper, and more efficient to operate. Huh. That must be why so many rideshare companies are investing in driverless tech. Well, that's right, because ACEs, these are not four independent trends. These are all connected to one another, and that really is about delivering mobility as a service. 